had exposure to mathematics at a very early age. My father is a mathematician, so I was always interested in what my father was doing. In school, I was naturally stronger in mathematics than in physics. My PhD was in the physics department, but it was really a PhD in mathematics. I was always attracted to the fact that the statements in mathematics are permanent. The field I'm in is essentially at the interface between probability theory and mathematical analysis or the theory of partial differential equations. And one of the big questions in the field is this question of universality, which says that many systems exhibit very similar, essentially identical, large-scale behavior, even though their macroscopic descriptions are very, very different. There are some situations where this large-scale behavior is not described by a Gaussian object, and these are extremely poorly understood. I was always interested in the physics of sound, understanding what sounds are or what they look like, what they're made of. So there is a very indirect connection between the analysis of sound and the toolbox that I've been developing for analyzing these ill-posed equations, which is that, to some extent, both of them rely on wavelet analysis. So I was walking to my office when I suddenly realized that wavelet analysis would give me a tool that allows me to go from one-dimensional systems to higher-dimensional systems and then also make the analysis that I've previously done of one-dimensional systems more robust. You can really get an idea anywhere at any moment, so it doesn't have to be in the office. It really helps to kind of do something completely different. Listen to music or do some cooking, but still keep it at the back of your mind. I think it's really important to do genuinely curiosity-driven type of mathematics. I think it's only by being genuinely curious about the problem and genuinely interested in the problem that you would be able to keep it in your head for sufficiently long time or sort of think about it in a sufficiently focused way to actually make some real progress. Yeah.